Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about distance, rate, time, word problems. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. I'm given this problem. A diesel train left the station traveling north 1.5 hours before a freight train. The freight train traveled in the opposite direction, going 6 kilometers per hour faster than the diesel train for 2 hours, after which time the trains were 312.3 kilometers apart. Find the diesel train's speed. Well, distance equals rate times time here. So let's do a, write this equation for both the diesel train and the freight train. The distance of the diesel train is equal to the rate of the diesel train times the time of the diesel train. The distance of the freight train is equal to the rate of the freight train times the time of the freight train. So let's plug in what we know and what we can, well, deduce a little here. Okay. The freight train, so the diesel train left the station traveling north 1.4 hours before the freight train. The freight train was traveling the opposite direction, they say, for two hours. So the time of the freight train is just two hours here. Not too bad. For the time of the diesel train, the diesel train left 1.5 hours beforehand, so it's 1.5 plus the two hours to get the overall time the diesel train was out there. Okay. Now we want to find the rate of the diesel train, so we don't know that. And the distance of the diesel train, we don't know either. But what about the rate of the freight train? They say the freight trains travel in the opposite direction, but six kilometers per hour faster than the diesel train. So the rate of the freight train can be written as uh, the rate of the diesel train plus six. And let's bring down this, the distance of the freight train. Now we're almost done setting up everything. There's one more clue they tell us. They say after this whole thing happened, the trains were 312.3 kilometers apart, and they're traveling in opposite directions. So the distance of the diesel train plus the distance of the freight train is equal to 312.3 uh, kilometers. We can adjust this by subtracting the distance of the freight train to both sides. And so the distance of the diesel train is 300, uh, that's a two. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself here. What is skipping? numbers. It happens. It's okay. Distance of the diesel train is equal to 312.3 minus distance of the freight train. So now we have all these different equations. What can we do with that? Well, what I can do is, well, I don't know. Um, I'm going to take, what am I doing here? First, let's make sure I'm doing everything right here. Okay. Let's simplify. That's what I want to do. Simplify first. The distance of the diesel train is equal to the rate of the di uh, diesel train. And then 1.5 plus 2 is 3.5. Here, distance of the freight train is equal to, distribute the 2, 2 times the rate of the uh, diesel train plus 2 times 6, which is 12. Okay? All right. Well, we know the distance of the diesel train is equal to 312.3 minus distance of the freight train. So I'm going to replace that here, and I have 312.3 minus distance of the freight train is equal to, let's rewrite this, 3.5 rate of the diesel train. Okay? So now let's get our distance of the freight train by itself, this variable. I'm going to subtract a 312.3 to both sides. And we have a negative distance of the freight train is equal to 3.5 rate of the diesel train minus 312, well, that's a 2.3, okay. Now this negative, we bring over to this side to make distance of the freight train positive, and that's a negative 3.5 rate of the diesel train plus now 312.3. After all that, <laughs> we know distance of the freight train, we can plug it in here. So we're gonna take all of this that we found and we're substituting it in the distance of the freight train. So, in doing so, we have a negative 3.5 rate of the diesel train plus 312.3 is equal to two times the rate of the diesel train plus 12, 
And actually, we're pretty happy here. We have one equation now, which gives us, or the only variable is the rate of the diesel train, and that's what we want to find. So we're going to combine our like terms here. I'm going to add a 3.5 rate of the diesel train to both sides. And this will cancel out. I'm going to subtract 12 to both sides. That will cancel out. And so 312.3 uh, minus 12 is 300.3. And 2 plus 3.5 is a 5.5. And that's being multiplied by R sub D. If I divide both sides by 5.5, I'm left with R sub D by itself here is equal to 300.3 divided by 5.5 is a 54.6 and our unit is kilometers per hour. And so the diesel train speed is 54.6 kilometers per hour. I hope this video was helpful and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com